Welcome back, friends and frenemies, to another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, where we take public domain Japanese comics, Englishize them, and then make funny noises, I guess. <laughs> I'm your host, translator, sound engineer, director, and famished magical tiger, Nicholas Tyson. Today, we have another exciting installment of Kabashiman Oda's Shochan Adventures. In our previous episode, Squirrel and Show relished in the dulcet tones of the Biwa. <laughs> and went on a boat trip to discover the true origins of capitalism. Sort of. You can check out that episode on this channel, but today we have... Te, te Usen. Te, no, um, this is pre-modern orthography, so this is Chosen. Uh, that's Joseon. The, that's the Korean kingdom of Joseon. Anyway, let's get started. Here we find our companions outside the ramparts, beyond which stands tall the capital of the ancient kingdom of Joseon. I apologize for my Korean uh, pronunciation. I'm, I'm not great with Korean. <laughs> all right, another time travel episode. Let's go. Of all the buildings in ancient Joseon, you won't see any quite as spectacular as these. You got that right. In the west, the sun hung over the mountains, even as it declined toward them. The sky is so clear, you can see right through it. A crowd of people were rushing through the castle gate in a panicked hurry. Let's get a move on. We'll, we'll all be in danger once the sun goes down. Show two passed through the gate, all the while thinking to himself that the situation was rather peculiar. Something very strange about all this. Inside the walls, armored soldiers had gathered themselves together. Whoa. <laughs> the soldiers ordered everyone to get quickly get inside. Hurry, everyone! Get inside! Once the people were all in, a bell rang throughout the city's main thoroughfare, and the gates closed. I got no idea what these people are up to. Sho asked a nearby guard what all the hubbub was about. Is something about to happen? The soldiers said nothing and merely beckoned for Sho to follow. And he showed him to a small room above the castle gate. In a low voice, the guard told Sho to pay attention to a mountain in the distance. You'll, you'll see why if you look over there. Eh? Shit. <laughs> uh, production values. Uh, okay. You'll see why if you look over there. Eh? He pointed toward a dark mountain looming in the skies to the west. That one over there? They gazed upon the mountain, whose features were absolutely monstrous. So this is my um, interpretation of what literally says. It says it looks like the backside of some vile creature, Mamono. That's a really big mountain. And upon its face, they saw reflected the massive shadow of a human figure mounted on a horse. Whoa. It, it's like a magic lantern show. Shortly after, the shadow disappeared, and the man came charging toward them on his white horse. Ah! He, he's headed right for us! Quiet! The soldier grabbed Cho's hand and told him not to make a peep. Quiet now! Quiet! Oh, 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 okay. The phantasmal figure nimbly jumped up onto the castle walls. That's when they heard a woman cry out as the figure appeared to carry her off. He, he, he's kidnapping her! Hush, hush. Finally, the shadow rode back whence he came and disappeared into a cloud of smoke that emerged along the base of the mountain. Wh what? This is so bizarre! Little by little, the soldier's heart began beating again. 
and he breathed uh, excuse me a sigh of relief <laughs> gassy baby <sighs> it's over he informed the show that this sort of thing happened every night and if anyone so much as shoots an arrow at him he'll kill them where they stand show scowled at the dark mountain in the west i still don't understand what's really going on here it's almost too much to believe <coughs> excuse me they came down from the room over the castle gate the show asked squirrel if he'd accompany him into town well squirrel we can check out the city at least okay likewise the next day the sun went down, and the tower bell rang out far and wide. That ominous human figure once again stood in the thoroughfare. Seems the people have all taken refuge. That's when a lone woman walked out covered in a shroud. When the figure saw her, he immediately swept her up into his arms and disappeared back into the west. The white horse wriggled like an arrow as it galloped up the mountain road. So uh, it literally does actually say wriggle, like W-R-I, not wiggle, wriggle. So this is referring to the fact that when you shoot an arrow, uh, the shaft doesn't actually stay perfectly straight and still. It, it oscillates as it flies. So this is, a, this is a very peculiar and, as it turns out, correct image. Eventually, they came to a vast, terrifying cavern, from which there appeared a gray-haired old woman carrying a lantern. Oh, I see you've brought me another one. And what to that point had seemed to be a man vanished, and a fearsome tiger stood in its place. Now that the deed is done, you can return to your true form. The old granny led the kidnapped woman into the cave. Alas, you will have to stay here, preferably without any whining. She locked the young woman up in a cell, clearly not original to the cave. The, 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 believe it or not, the caption goes out of its way to say that this is peculiar. It is a peculiar thing to be in this cave. You can all sleep together in here. A number of Korean women were weeping inside the cell. Or a number of ladies of Joseon. The freshly kidnapped woman took stock of the situation and removed her shroud. Hey, squirrel, we're in a real pickle, aren't we? Yeah, not sure what we can do. Again, production values. Hey, squirrel, we're in a real pickle, aren't we? Yeah, not sure what we can do. <laughs> Show asked the shocked ladies to tell him their story, but also to keep their voices down. What? Shh. I'm here to save you. They told him the old woman was a witch who was raising the tiger all by herself. So the Japanese literally says uh, Mahotsukai, which technically is just a magic user if we're going by D&D rules. Uh, but in the case of women, it's usually translated as a witch. So I translated it as witch. I see. That's how the tiger got so big. Each day, the witch fed one of the ladies to the tiger. Hmm. And each time, you could hear the victim cry out for help. They told Sho the witch used her lamp to keep the tiger in fear. The lamp has some mysterious power over them. <laughs> All right, then. When the night was only faintly lit by a light from the west, the old woman returned. No, she, she's coming for someone to feed to the tiger. The witch dragged two, no, three of the young women back toward the cave entrance. <laughs> Soon you'll be no more. She pulled the young ladies out into the open. You naughty little girls, don't you know when to give up? That's when a pair of hungry tigers roared for their meal. Ah, uh, no! 
<laughs> she actually literally says, Are kawaii? Scary. <laughs> I'm scared. The old woman hoisted high her lamp and gave a wide grin. Oh, they look so hungry. They must be starving. The tigers shrank back at the sight of her as if she were holding something horrifying. The old woman grabbed one of the ladies and pushed her toward them. They're gonna crunch you to bits! <laughs> no, please, let me go! That's when, all of a sudden, one of them shot, shot out the lamp with a pistol. What? The old woman was distracted. How could this be? And the tigers, who up till now had been cowering in fear, leapt forward. <coughs> they pounced on the old woman and chewed her to death. <coughs> Meanwhile, Sho helped the young women up, and together they rushed back into the cave. Hurry, quickly! It's not safe! Sho stood in the doorway trying to calm the ladies down. We can't go back out there. The beasts, they're, they're so... The tigers finished eating the old woman and ran over to the cave. They're, they're here. Okay. And without warning, Sho shot the tiger dead with his pistol. He felled one, but the tigers kept coming. And Sho had used up all his bullets. Crap! That's not good! Sho had no choice but to hide himself inside the cell. Now I've got to hide inside too! He shut the cell door tight and called out for Squirrel. Oi! Squirrel! Come here! But for some reason, Squirrel was nowhere to be seen. What? He's not here. D did, did the tigers get him? Sho spent the whole night worrying about where Squirrel could be. I'm not sure I could go on without my friend. <sighs> At dawn, a cry could be heard outside. Loose! As in, as in loose your arrows, you know, shoot your bow. Pew pew. Hey, the tigers are running away! At last, Squirrel appeared before them with a large number of soldiers. Squirrel, you're alive! And I brought an army with me! The ladies cried out with joy when they realized who had come. Oh, we're saved! We're, we're, we're saved! Hmm, that's interesting. So I, I remember to write out what the what the, the ladies say all together, but then the, the one in the pink says, Lucy, I'm so happy. <laughs> some of the tigers were killed, some ran away, but not a single one was left behind. I mean, aside from the dead ones. <laughs> we're okay now. The soldiers and show guarded the young women as they made their way back to the capital. I'm so happy to see the sun again. Oh, I can see my mother. The people of the town stood to one side and joy filled their hearts. I never thought I could be so happy, so grateful. And from that point forward, the city flourished, hardly recognizable from what it had once been. Now that the people's hearts have been unburdened, the city can prosper. It really, truly can. That's your lesson for today. <laughs> and scene. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. And if you really liked this video, you can support my work on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash it came from the manga. All one word. There's also a link in the um, description. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links for which can be found in the description below. I'll be back next week with another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, but until then, do not let the man get you down. Bye.